What's up guys, Twistamir19 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play a game that's on every Windows operating system called Minesweeper. And you guys mi might have heard of Minesweeper, here I'll search it up right now. The game looks a little like this. And what Minesweeper is, basically you have to sweep mines. <laughs> I know I'm kind of bold there, but here I'll get more into detail. What, you click on blocks. This is Windows 7, Windows um, Windows XP, and my, maybe Vista. Looks a little different. And I'll show pictures on showing right on the caption, like right around where my mouse is right now. Uh, basically, what it is is you press you pr you have to press on the squares, and what the numbers represent is there's a bomb adjacent to that number. And here's the easy one right here. Right here, there must be a bomb because one is pointing uh, is pointing right here to where it's highlighted now. And so, if I right click on that spot, I'm, it's flagged as a bomb. And as you can see, if I click on it, it's a bomb. <coughs> and I'll play again. So that's pretty basically how you play. Say if I I'll, I'll show a couple games later, but and uh, you know you click first. You always start off clicking in corners like how I do here. But you might always click on a bomb, so you always have that chance, so don't get frustrated if you do it. It's a good technique to start off, especially if you're playing at the beginner level, because you mostly get this big chunk of space. And if you if you um, you use the both clicks of your mouse, the left and right click, and click it at once, you can see that the, the block it is pointing to, there's only one adjacent square left, so that must be a bomb. And if you do this, since it's flagged and there's only one there's only one bomb adjacent to that square, that's another one. Now, as you can see here, there's three. There's three adjacent spots right here. So if if I highlight it, you can see that one's already flagged as a bomb, and there's two more. So two plus one is three. Those so these two must be two as well. And then I keep on going. And keep on right clicking until you get until you pretty much basically get through. And if you get stuck on something like hold on, I'm sure I'll get one later. I don't know, I might actually complete this one pretty fairly. As you can see I completed the board and that's what it does in Windows seven because it's and then uh, everything I flagged right there was correct and my score was fifty eight seconds, that's not my best. My best time was 13 seconds, as you can see. And I'll do another game. So I see here's one adjacent square. You ha you always have to get those big chunks. So that's why I always recommend clicking in the corner so you get these big chunks of just blobs. And if you highlight, um, I always go for the ones in the corner because that's the easiest. And then you can keep on double clicking to fill out the rest of the to fill out the rest of the board until you got to do it again. Now, like the threes and the fours are what I really hate because they're the hardest to do, especially when you have a plot of land. Pl oh, excuse me, a plot of land like this. Uh, because, and especially right here, because you can't right click and know especially where one where one thing is. So, but you always gotta look around and right click on everything. And as you can see, this right here. Right up here, these two are flagged to number three. So, and there's only one more uh, block highlighted that is adjacent to there. So, that must be a bomb. And then you could go off that as well. And as you can see, I did that perfectly. And then I'll, I'm out of that situation. And then I do the same up here. I highlight. There's one bomb adjacent. I click on that. Highlight again. Highlight again. And then I completed the game as well in 70 seconds. This game is pretty much just for time passing, really, but it's a fun game, and most of my friends I know don't know how to play this game, so that's why I'm doing this tutorial. Now, here, here's a perfect example of what a bad start is. Right here, this is a horrible start, because you really can't tell what is adjacent or not. I only had one good one, so you have to click basically in the middle of the board. Don't go too close to where the other chunks are because those are most likely to be bombs. So you want to just click in the middle and you and you probably might click a bomb so don't get frustrated but it's what you have to do to 
really go. It's game. It's pretty much a game of luck, basically. It it does involve some skill because you need to know how to play it. And I accidentally did that because I wasn't right clicking. I was just talking. And you just keep on doing it until you finally see another another example. Click in the corners, and you might click on a bomb. I'll do one more tutorial, and I'll go slower this round. All right. So I repeat myself. You look for ones in the corner so there's only one block adjacent to one. And adjacent basically means that it's next to, it's surrounding it. So right here is a core spot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight blocks around that one right now are adjacent to it. So if I say if anything adjacent to this, only three blocks are adjacent to here. So I know that one of these have to be a bomb, and I know this one has to be a bomb right now because it's adjacent to that one, and that's the only block left. Same down here. This is the only block left that could be there, so that's a bomb, and that's adjacent. Same with this one because both of these even both of these ones even show that there's one bomb adjacent to that block. So you right click, and since I have these two fill out, I right click on this and it automatically fills. You keep on right clicking. It's the best technique ever for this game. It's just so easy because you could and you gotta take your time as well because if you don't then yeah you pretty much screw yourself over. And right here, right here, right here, I'm just right clicking basically and I'm flying through this game. And right there you know and then you can impress your friends because this game looks like you need to be smart to know it but you really don't. It's like this game is probably one of the ge ooh, easiest invented. I'm kind of risky on that one, and then I just sw I just sweep the board of all of its mines. It's as easy as that. I'll do one more game, and then I'll end this tutorial. One more good game, and this one I won't bother. You gotta pay attention. Huh? This one's kind of difficult. perfect example right here you're always gonna you're always gonna get something like this where you gotta take some risk because right now you can't tell where any of these bombs are adjacent to except for right here so my mistakes but again that really doesn't help me a lot it just actually makes things a little bit worse because now I have a one out of four chance right now that I'm gonna hit a bomb actually maybe two no three out of four I could hit a bomb right now so there's only one good one. So I'm going to go with this one right here. Ooh, I actually did it. See, I took a risk. Just took a risk. And the reason why I did that, because, hold on, I'll play it. Because, pretend this is the old board. Hold on, I know it's not. But say here was the three. Here's the other three. I highlighted it. And three, three, say three, these three were unhighlighted. And this three, only two were. I always go with the bigger one because that that's more likely there's going to be bombs in that area. So I click on the, the other one with less bombs. And that's basically how I did that. And that's how you play Minesweeper. Rate, comment, subscribe for more tutorials. And I have tutorials on anti-malware anti-malware and malware remover games tutorial just game gameplay it's a lot of things so just subscribe for future videos to Samir19 signing out talk to you guys later